What's going on guys? Welcome back to another college football season predictions for the determine how well each team will do in the upcoming season. Now in this episode we are going to be talking about the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Uh last season though, they didn't really do very well. They did not look good. I think it went three and nine last season. I mean they but they didn't get last place in their division. Just getting a head uh, tiebreaker over Duke beating them head to head. So this is gonna be very interesting. I think this is probably gonna be I would probably say this could be another disappointing year once again. But we go back to talk about last season, though. Their offense was 95th in scoring, 57th in rushing, 97th in passing. Their offense wasn't good. Defense wasn't better either. They were tied with 110th in scoring, rushing 100th, and the passing was 121st. I mean, it just, they, they, it just wasn't that good. Um... To say the least, so I just think though this is going to be another, uh, you know, probably going to be another rebuild season. I think this is not going to be the year, you know, they're going to make it into their um, into their conference championship game. But I will say though they can make some games really close. Now the game I will talk about though was against Clemson. I think, and also when I was speaking about that, I'm going to be one of those key games you have to look at too. It's just not only though how close that game is going to be. It's determined really how good Clemson is going to be, you know. And we did talk about Clemson a bit, though. I will put it in the description. You guys have not watched that already, so that's what I'm talking about. So, how long say they're suing what they're going to be? I believe they're probably going to go three and nine, probably the same record. That's their highest they would. Uh, that's the highest they're going to go. So, not going to be not going to be an improvement, but it's not going to be worse as you think. And then the floor. I think they'll just win at least one game this coming season. Just at least one. Nothing, nothing too crazy or nothing. One in 11. I mean, that's just a terrible record to look at. But really, though, what can you do? Really, though. What can you do, really? Um, They do have eight people returning. You have four on offense. Three of them are on defense, plus your punter. So, um, I don't really know how you gonna, how well they will do. So this is going to be their season. I Like I said, they may not win some games, but I think they're going to make it damn close. I will tell you that. So, we go in here. Their first game. This is the bye right here. This is week zero. In case you guys do not know, I explained it before. So this is week one right here. They take on the Clemson Tigers. I think, like I said, I think they're just going to take an L right here. They're going to lose. But if, if I can say anything, though, I think they can make it close. I don't know if they'll make it closer as they did last season. Maybe a little bit of quote. I don't know. All right. In their next game, they got Western Carolina at home as well. I think they're going to win this one. There should be no way. And really, though, this is, a, this is a pretty damn good three home game stretch they have. That's a pretty damn good one. I'm looking at this. But, yeah, I think they're going to beat Western Carolina. It's a really easy one. Then you're back, like I said, back at home. Again, you're taking on Ole Miss. I think, though... I mean, Georgia Tech's going to lose this one. I'm not saying Ole Miss is probably going to be... Ole Miss is going to be a little bit different team. Like, they have lost Matt Corral. probably their biggest player um, out of that team. I think they're going to lose him. But, I still, like I said, I still think... When we, when we get to Ole Miss, though, I still think Ole Miss is probably still going to be good. So, yeah. All right. And now, you're on the road. You're going against Central Florida. I want to say if they're going to lose against UCF... Almost thought it, I thought it to myself before I started this. I think though I thought they were gonna win. The one thing that separated me from this was the fact they were on the road. That was the only thing that kind of separated a little bit. Cause I don't know. I mean it was a tough one to kind of think. It was it was a really tough one to really think about here. So yeah. Um UCF is probably one of those teams that has contention to win their conference title, win their whole conference, so I don't know, but I will talk a bit more about UCF when we get to them a little bit, so, yeah. And now you're back, back on the road again against Pittsburgh, I've said you're going to lose against them, then you're back at home, you're taking on Duke, same thing as last year, you're going to get the win, Duke is not going to be a good team, Duke is not at all whatsoever, then you have a bye getting rested up though, 
as you are about to go up against Virginia, I believe you are going to lose this game. That's what I will say. Then I'm going to go, like I said, on the road. You got a two road game stretch here. You're going to lose against Florida State. I am also going to say you're probably going to lose against Virginia Tech. Back at home, taking on Miami. I'm saying you're going to lose this one as well, too. Not even going to do it. Not even going to think about it. And now, on the road against North Carolina. You know what, though? I'm going to say they're going to win this one. I, I'm going to say they're going to win this one here. Give a little hope here. They don't. They're, they're not going to get a bowl game whatsoever. I mean, they lost. They don't. They're not going to get a bowl game already. All right, let's just say that they lost that already. But I believe though they're going to kind of surprise North Carolina a bit here. I mean, they're North Carolina thinks, oh, we're going to come in here, we're going to beat Georgia Tech, going to be going to feel very confident in us um, winning it. So yeah, let's look at it. And then your final game's on the road against Georgia. Let's be real here. That's not. I do not see Georgia Tech winning this game. It's not happening. The only way that I see Georgia Tech winning this, against Georgia if Georgia has has all their starters out. Like, injury and all this stuff. There's no way they're going to have their starters rest or nothing. I mean, I highly doubt that too. So, yeah. Man, I mean, we got, we got three and nine. I do say, though, you're not going to come in last in your division because the head-to-head -head win over Duke. So, I think, though, that would be a very... Oh, I don't know. I don't know, man. This Georgia Tech may not have it in them, but... It's a really... It was a kind of a... It's not really like a stat conference a bit here, but their schedule is, like, very interesting. You got, you got um, three tough non-conference teams to look at here. Three tough ones. Ole Miss, Georgia, and UCF. Yeah, they're going to be some tough ones to face. Don't really want to sleep on Central Florida. But... If I do have to change the game, though, I mean, it's probably going to be harder than the ceiling. I did predict the map, though. I may change it. But I'm not going to change anything on here. This is what I'm going to stick with. But if I did, though, I'd probably say they would beat Virginia. That's just one I just see. But, yeah, but not really over that. Eh, I think I'll feel confident about this one. But anyway, guys, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what y'all think, what Georgia Tech's record going to be. So, I want to hear your thoughts about it. But anyway, I want to say thank you guys for watching. See you guys in my next video. Peace.